Uluru, also known as Ez Rock, is a large sandstone rock formation in the Northern Territory of Australia. It is significant to the Anangu, the indigenous people of the area, as a sacred site that holds spiritual and cultural importance in their traditional beliefs. Uluru is also a major tourist attraction and is known for its unique geology and red rock color that changes with the light throughout the day. It is considered one of Australia's most iconic landmarks and has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uluru has a rich history that dates back tens of thousands of years. It is considered sacred by the Anangu people, who have lived in the area for more than 50,000 years. The Anangu believe that Uluru was created by ancestral beings during the Dreamtime and holds important spiritual and cultural significance in their traditional beliefs and practices. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Uluru became a popular tourist destination and was eventually leased to the Australian government in the 1950s. In the 1980s, ownership of the site was returned to the Anangu people in a landmark land rights case, and today it is managed by the Anangu and the National Park Service. In recent years, there has been growing concern about the environmental impact of tourism on the site, and there have been efforts to encourage visitors to respect the cultural and spiritual significance of Uluru. Despite these efforts, Uluru remains one of the most popular tourist destinations in Australia and continues to be a source of inspiration and wonder for people from all over the world. As of October 26, 2019, Climbing the Rock has been banned and was implemented in response to the request of the Anangu, the traditional owners of the site, who asked that visitors respect the cultural and spiritual significance of Uluru. The ban was widely supported by the local community, including park rangers and tourism operators, who saw it as a way to preserve the site for future generations and to respect the Anangu's cultural and spiritual beliefs. Visitors to Uluru are now encouraged to experience the site in other ways, such as through cultural tours or walking around the base of the rock. The ban has been well received by many visitors, who see it as a way to show respect for the Anangu's cultural and spiritual beliefs and to preserve the site for future generations. Ulara is located approximately 20 kilometers from Uluru and offers a range of accommodation options including hotels, motels, camping grounds and caravan parks. The resort also has a range of facilities including restaurants, cafes, shops and a supermarket as well as a cultural center that provides information and tours about the Anangu culture and the history of Uluru. Ulara is designed to be an environmentally sustainable tourism destination with a focus on preserving the local landscape and minimizing the impact of tourism on the surrounding environment. The resort is a popular base for visitors to Uluru and provides a convenient and comfortable way to experience one of Australia's most iconic landmarks. If you're looking to visit Uluru, you're in for a treat. There are several ways to get to this iconic landmark. You could fly into Ez Rock Airport, which is just a hop skip and a jump away from the resort town of Ulara. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you could drive from Alice Springs, a five-hour road trip through the heart of the outback, complete with scenic views and opportunities to stop at charming roadhouses along the way. If you're not much of a driver, don't worry. There are plenty of organized tours available that will take you to Uluru from Alice Springs in style. And once you arrive, there are plenty of ways to get around, including self-drive tours, organized tours, and even shuttle buses. Of course, walking around the base of the rock is a popular way to experience its unique geology and cultural significance. As for the weather, Uluru is located in the desert, so you can expect warm and dry conditions with a bit of a temperature swing. The best time to visit is from April to September, when temperatures are more moderate, but even during the hotter months from October to March, you can still have a great time, just remember to drink plenty of water and protect yourself from the sun. 
Whether you're looking for adventure or just want to take in the breathtaking views, Uluru is the perfect destination.